What's up, guys? Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. What do we have here on the bench? Well, stick around and find out. Here we have some resistors. These are power resistors. And these are what we use to test the amplifier's output. Now as you can see, we have 24 resistors here. I've got them bunched together in fours because each one is 16 ohms at 120 watts. So each of these is going to represent a 4 ohm load at 480 watts. Now you might say, why do I have kind of an odd number here? Well, I have eight of them in here also. So what we're going to be able to do is we're going to have the ability to do four channel amplifiers at two ohm loads because we're going to be able to use um, two sets of these for one one set of channels so we're going to be able to do two ohms each one of these like I said four ohms so, so parallel two together and you have two ohms and also what we're going to have the ability to do is parallel all 32 together and guess what that's going to give us one half ohm so guess what we can test Lanzar Opti 50C and US Amps VLX 50 and that's what I'm talking about And what you see here is some additional parts what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, these banana plug terminals or binding post for um, each of the two I'm sorry each of the four resistors together so I'm going to have um, actually take that back I'm just going to have one of these per four resistors and what I can do, what I'm thinking of doing is using a computer um, tower, like a gamer's tower, where I can put fans on the intake and the exhaust so that I can keep these resistors cool during high power testing. Now, a little bit of math says 120 watts times 32 is 3,840 watts capable total that's insane at least for the amps I test I know some of the amps today are 5k 7k 15k whatever I don't have the capability of testing amps that big with my power supplies so with the power supply capacity I have this is plenty what I'm also planning on doing is I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how I solder these all together and make them ready for the resistor bank so that'll be a future video coming up. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Give you guys a little DIY from Big D. All right, real quick before I end the video, I just want to show you. I have uh, four of them paralleled together. And as you can remember, when I touch the two ends of my cheap uh, multimeter here, I get 0.4 ohms. So that's going to be exactly 4 ohms, which is perfect. Each of these loads will be 4 ohms. So... Guys, I'm getting excited about this. Amplifier tests are coming up. It's finally starting to cool down a little bit here in the labs. We're not climate controlled, un unfortunately. So the, um, the hot summers here are just, just make it impossible for us to do any testing here in the lab. So anyway, this is Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. You guys stay tuned. More exciting stuff coming up. This is Big D Wiz. I'm out of here.